Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Be careful. You might get what you ask for. Whenever I hear this phrase, I am grateful to realize that nothing happens to us apart from God's sovereign, perfect will. God knows what we need before we do, and He knows what we don't need. Answered prayers might not always look like what we hoped for, but they are just what we need. I read today in the book of Jonah, and the verse of the day is Jonah 2, verse 2. In my distress, I called to the Lord, and He answered me. From deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. Word of the day is answered. It is the Hebrew word anach. It means to respond, pay attention, or to reply. The book of Jonah details the calling of Jonah to preach to the Ninevites, who he incidentally despised. They were enemies of God's people, and he knew God would be compassionate toward them. Jonah is the character I use in my book, Make Up Your Mind, to depict the discontented mindset. Sometimes we let our reason trump God's will. We think we know better. Ultimately, Jonah did not want God's will. While I cannot fathom running away from God, Much like Jonah, I have wondered why God allows certain people to get away with heinous sin. In the past, I've struggled to trust God and have kept Him at a distance after the Ninevites in my own life caused ruin and wreckage. Jonah's desire to do things his way led him far away from God's plan and landed him in the belly of a big fish. God is patient. He is willing to teach us lessons the hard way, but it would be far better just to trust Him and do things His way. Clinging to our own plans is dangerous considering whose will is ultimately going to be done. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Proverbs 19.21 When we cling to our own ways rather than God's, we are clinging to idols. These idols will eventually cause us discontentment with God's plans. However, when we live under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, we stop resisting His plans, realizing they are best. The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Proverbs 16, verse 9. Jonah's heart was finally in a place that God would rescue him. He was surrendered and ready to do God's will. Reading from Jonah 2, verses 1-2 through and 7-9, through it says, From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. He said, In my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From deep in the realm of the dead I called for help, and you listened to my cry. When my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, Lord. And my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those who cling to worthless idols turn away from God's love for them. But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed I will make good. I will say salvation comes from the Lord. Though Nineveh had repented, 150 years later, Nineveh would ultimately be destroyed by the Medes, an ancient Iranian people. God sees our requests. He is sovereign over all, and His timing is best. His purposes are so much higher than ours, but God still invites us to pray to Him. Do you trust God when it seems your prayers aren't answered? God is always using everything for our good and His glory. No prayer is ever spoken in vain. Go with God in His precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Psalms.